Workforce Pool is an app designed to grow the Pi Network by bringing together skilled and talented pioneers to work on projects and to get paid for their work in Pi. Most online freelance platforms require you to choose a role when you register. With Pi Workforce Pool, there's no need to decide ahead of time whether you're going to hire other people or be hired by other people. You register for the app and you can either put your talents on the app or put your projects on the app for people to work on. You can do both. Pi Workforce Pool has all of the features that you need in a complete freelance work marketplace. You can post projects, you can post your own skills and talents, and you can hire people to work on projects based on their skills and talents. Pi Workforce Pool even searches your skills and matches you automatically to projects that are appropriate for your skill set based on your skills that you list and based on the way you tag your profile. You can find people to work on your projects, you can hire them to work on your projects, and you can get hired and get paid in Pi. Let's take a look at the app and see how it works. Hey, Pioneers. Pi Workforce Pool is very excited to present you the alpha version of our app. And without further ado, let's dive right in. First, it should be noted that our app is accessible from both Pi browser and other external browsers as well. However, if you attempt to access our app from a non-Pi browser, you'll get a message warning you that you'll only be able to create a guest account and have access to limited features of our app. The goal here is to introduce a glimpse of the Pi ecosystem to those unfamiliar with Pi and encourage them to join to build a bigger and better community. Let's try creating a guest account from an external browser and see what the app looks like. Here we have an option to create an account with an email, but notice the top that the account user is creating is a guest account. Next, we're taken to a registration page where the user can fill out their profile describing what skills they can offer. After finishing up the application, users can go through the help section to familiarize themselves with the functionalities of the app. Well, as you can see, a guest account is limited to the search function to see what's available in the community and is directed to the official Pi website to join our network of pioneers. To see the full features of our app, now let's head over to the Pi browser. Our app is seamlessly integrated with Pi Network's authentication and the app will automatically create an account for you on our backend. If this is your first time visiting, hit the register button, or if you're feeling adventurous, you can also hit the login button, but we'll just notice that you don't have a profile set up and redirect you to our registration page. Then you'll be able to set up a profile we've seen before in this video. After registration is over, we're able to create a talent or a work listing. The listings are basically your ads to community. But the difference here is that your talent listing is a service that you are providing for others, and the work listing is the work opportunity you're offering to other pioneers. Let's say I'm looking for a designer for the logo of my company. I have two options of finding the web person for the job. The first option is to create a work listing on my profile. I'm going to head over to the work section and create a listing that describes what I want done. Next, we can either wait for other pioneers to apply for my work listing, where I can click on the match tab and get matched with other users who have the qualifications that I'm looking for. Our backend algorithm matches the skills and tags of your work listing to other users so that you can look through the list of your matches and once you find a profile to your liking, you can message that person to see if they apply for your listing. Another option is to head over to the search tab and see if other users have created a talent listing that you can hire. We're looking for a designer, so let's type in designer. And voila, another pioneer has created a talent listing. When you click on it, you're able to see a detailed information about the listing. And if it's to your liking, you can click on the hire button and then you'll be taken to an applications page if they require an application. And if not, you'll just get a notification saying that your inquiry has been forwarded. 
You may check the status of your application and your listings in the Manage tab. We see here that my application has been submitted. To help us get a better chance, I'm going to click on the drop down menu and message the user about what I'm looking for. Once it's been accepted, the status will change to accepted. When the work is complete, the person doing the work will click on the drop down menu and click on completed. When the work has been completed, a button to pay the user is made available. Here we'll click on pay, confirm the amount, and we'll be taken to the Pi Wallet page, where we can input our information to finish the payment process. Managing the listings is a similar process. We can see information on how many applicants we have total, how many have been accepted, completed, and paid. If you click on the drop down menu, we are able to edit our tasks and manage the applicants. If we click Manage Applicants, we see the list of applicants based on their status, and we're able to interact with them as we've seen before, with the addition of the ability to accept or reject the applicant. We're currently working on adding many more core features, so stay tuned for the rest of this video. As you can see, Pi Workforce Pool is already a full-featured freelance work marketplace app. After the hackathon, we will continue to enhance the app with further integration into the Pi ecosystem as features are added to the SDK. We plan to implement smart contracts to let users easily do things like create milestones and timelines for their projects, and set up escrow accounts, dispute transactions when necessary, and of course, get paid in Pi. We're also working on more sophisticated tagging and matching algorithms based on user activity. But ultimately, the Pi Network is all about community. So if there are features that you would like to see us add to the Pi Workforce Pool app, please let us know. You'll find our email address and a link to our suggestion form in the description box below this video. The Pi Workforce Pool team is made up of the following skilled and talented pioneers. On the admin team, we have Larry W., who thought up the idea for this app in the first place and has brought us all together. Dynamo Abe, who's been there from the beginning. Mindapai, that's me. On the business team, we have Lawi, God's Rule, Chishti Sabi Kadri, Ona Sanya, and Mosan Fash. And on the development team, we have Jack Quant, Estrella Mag, and the amazing Murdoch Jr. We plan to add more developers, particularly developers who are familiar with blockchain and with smart contracts. If you're one of those, get in touch. We believe that Pi Workforce Pool can be an integral part of the heart and soul of the Pi Network. It's a new kind of community-centered freelance app, bringing pioneers together to accomplish great things in a marketplace based on accountability, transparency, and trust. Thank you, everybody. Go pie!